put them basically on the multi-dimensional energy landscape, we can find the uh, local minimum over there. So that's a fair electric phase generation we have. Uh, but uh, exactly what these modes are is still ongoing investigation that we hope Andrew can tell us. And polarization? Polarization is, is also, I mean, if you don't, don't understand which mode is which. I mean, the uh, electric field is along oh. which direction? Yes. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so there are these two modes. Uh, but, I mean, in, in, the, in a real material, the material there are domains. And so, we, is it likely we are driving both? Because uh, the terrorist bus size is large. It's 300 microns, so you see lots of them. Yeah. Yes, sir, David. Yeah, very interesting. Um, maybe this is a question more for Andrew. Uh, what, what determines the size of this uh, polarization that you get in the, in the ferroelectric state? I mean, I'm, I'm a little bit confused because I'm not aware of previous kind of initial calculations that showed any metastable state with a, with a, with a, with a non-zero polarization. Uh, yes. Uh, good morning, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> this is super embarrassing, but I'm sure Sean gave a wonderful talk. Uh, but my answer about the theory part is that uh, you can think of titanium as having an eight-site model similar to barium tightening. Um, and when you apply an electric field, uh, there's this onset behavior that I'm sure he told you about. That if you apply a small electric field, you're not really convincing any of them to leave. Uh, but at least at the classical molecular dynamics level, they're visiting uh, off-centered positions, but in a disorderly way. And then you can, uh, have, you can drive some hops from one site to another. And so the polarization becomes maybe similar to barium tightening polarization. This is something that we were actually discussing yesterday, that the polarization is probably not tiny. You know, it's, uh, right. and it's large enough to affect these vibrational frequencies, so it's, uh, it's uh, sizable. And when you say metastable, I think it's metastable for a nanosecond. You know, it's not metastable for seconds, I don't think. Yeah, um, it's not that long. 